We've known this for a while, and the Federal Reserve confirmed it once again this week after its meeting. The Fed plans to keep interest rates low through mid-2015, and the Fed isn't worried about inflation over the long run. A little bit of worry about short-term gasoline prices, but over the long term, not really. However, we've got a money manager who says the risk of inflation is, quote, huge, and he's got three top ways he says you can play it. Michael Wall of Wall Financial is the CEO over there. He joins us now in a Fox Business exclusive. All right, we're going to play the inflation card game here, but before we do, let me play devil's advocate. Uh, and, you know, Warren Buffett a year and a half ago wrote a column saying inflation has got to be coming because with all this stimulus and all of the tarp and the money that's been put into the system, at some point it will happen. He just didn't know when. We haven't seen it meaningfully happen, and wages have pretty much kept pace with anything that's going on. So what point on the calendar are we talking about here? You know, good to see you, Liz. Uh, you know, I, I think, I don't know that there's a particular point you can play for. I definitely think it's going to happen. I mean, quite honestly, what is inflation in its basic term? It's just the cost of things getting greater. So, you know, as we look over time, you mentioned about gas and that sort of thing, oil. Uh, we've definitely seen that happen, and I think we're going to continue to see that. As you mentioned about printing of money, you know, there's never been a time we, where we haven't printed money in the past where inflation didn't follow. So I think preparing for it earlier is a good bet. Okay, so that's fine. We, we, we like to be ahead of the game, definitely. But <laughs> let's talk about how to actually play this. And there are three cards that you say give people a winning hand. And let's start with the very first one. Three specific ways to invest to prepare for what you believe is inflation that's coming. Take the number one. What's yeah. up? Yeah. I, you know what? I like the actual idea of physical medical. Metal. Gold. Not medical. <laughs> gold, <laughs> silver, that sort of thing. Everybody needs that. We, right? we, yeah, everybody needs medical, right? But physical, gold, metal, um, silver, that type of thing. What it's going to do, you know, it's like anything else. Anytime more dollars are printed, a fear goes up and the cost and the value of the dollar goes down. And, you know, gold and silver have been around for ages, mm -hmm. and I believe they're always going to be around. And I like the idea of the physical metal. In, in, in what form? Coins. I mean, oh, in coins? Like numismatic yeah, exactly. coins? Or? Yeah, I, I really like buying it from the mint in coins, Liz. And the reason I like that is because, you know, play a real, God forbid, situation where America doesn't have the great future we think it will. Uh, at least those coins can be used in addition. Uh, obviously, they have value, but they can also be used in addition as legal tender. So whoa, I like whoa, the idea whoa, whoa, of the coin whoa, whoa. having so, it on person. <laughs> now you sound like my dad after the Holocaust, right? He, he said, you know, <laughs> when the Nazis come marching onto Sunset Boulevard right. in L.A., they won't take dollar bills. Uh, right, is that right. a little bit of a dramatic scenario? Well, it can be, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, it, I don't think it hurts to have some in, in any f phase of the game. And remember, what we're talking about here is we're not selling, we're not talking about selling okay. a house, sell the car, sell everything. We're just talking about a little piece. Okay, let's get to second card of the way to play the inflation mm -hmm. game. You say real estate. Yeah, yeah, and in particular physical real estate buying properties. You know, I'm in Florida right now, and in this market, for example, uh, and not just here, but other countries in the world, we've seen... Uh, you know, costs, values of homes plummet over the years, obviously, and now's a great time to buy. And in particular, what I think is important is when you take a look at the real estate you own, there's a greater demand for renting because of uh, being harder and harder to, you know, get a loan and all that goes with that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a great play to take a look at your own personal money and saying, you know what, I might buy a piece of real estate here or there hoping the value of that real estate is going to go up, number one. And number two, you have the ability to have renters. Sure. And I know we're seeing in this market, you know, a lot of people just in on season, you're seeing anywhere between seven to twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a month in rent uh, on a property. And so, you know, sometimes the math can really work. Yeah, buy a distressed property, fix it up, you get a little bit of income there. Uh, your third card, yep. as we deal it out and we reveal it, is something that involves managed futures. And you call this the yeah. alt index. Am I pronouncing that correctly? It's, it's ALTVI, yep, um, and it's actually something that is, the, the neat thing about this play, Liz, is you can buy it through security benefit. It's actually in the structure of an annuity, but if you look at it, it's a managed futures index, which is what you mentioned, investing in a variety of different things. And here's the neat thing about it. If you actually look at the back-tested number, if you would have owned this, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, in the last worst 10 years, it would have averaged a little over 4.5%. The best 10 years doing the math back testing is a little over eight and a half percent and the neat thing about it all is there's zero risk to your principal so again for a piece of of the situation it might be something to look at uh... as far as some diversity and have some play that way for the future 
three ways to play the inflation card. Michael Wall, thank you so much. We're going to put all of these ideas on our Facebook page for After the Bell, but thank you so much. And, and um, good luck. What, how many freezers do you have? Are you one of those with 12 freezers in a bomb shelter? <laughs> You know, uh, the only reason I have three freezers is because I have four kids. Oh, okay. And uh, right. they eat a lot of <laughs> they eat a lot of food. One last tip: don't buy real estate in a hurricane. <laughs> yeah, no, but buy it right after where it's cheaper. Good yeah. to see you, Michael. That, Thank you for the ideas. There you go. Good to see you.